Hey guys, it is me, Happy Sarek, and welcome back to our free to play series in Last and Earth Survival. Today we're gonna progress even further inside of the survivor's path. We have all the necessary resources to finish building the headquarters. Let's drop everything. Let's finalize that. The minivan won't start. We have no spark plugs. Ask around the gas station. Maybe someone has some. And we've gotten a new task. Go to gas station. I am pretty sure we're gonna unlock now the highway. Most of the locations in the game can be visible here on the map, but there are some other locations, like for example, the highway, that can only be added accessed if you enter the gas station. There are also some other locations like that. For example, you can enter the sewers only through this port location. You can also enter the laboratory only through the port. But hey, all those fun facts aside, welcome to the gas station. Now we have to talk to the mechanic, okay? I can do that and then we will probably go to the highway. So this is gonna be our first highway run on this account. You need parts for the minivan, go to the highway. There are plenty of them there. That's it, we just have to head out to the highway. So in order to enter the highway, you have to go here. Also, I am pretty sure you can't go to the highway unless you progress further to that survivor's path so if you haven't done this mission yet i don't think you'll be able to go to the highway now we've gotten some new tasks we have to find a spark plug we have to search for cars and we have to find the source of the noise i have no idea what noise is that but whatever i don't hear anything but let's assume there's a lot of noise now let's not forget about looting the vehicles because yeah it's free loot why not get that free loot? First of all, I'm gonna deal with all these guys. Just like that, we brought here a crowbar. I also brought here a gun, as always. I don't leave my base without a gun. I have here full durability Glock, plus I have some other broken melee weapons that I'll use first. And just in case, I also brought one more Skull Crusher. Actually, maybe I'm gonna use this Skull Crusher right now just to get some more damage. There we go. Let's deal with these stupid hungry chumpers okay let's avoid that and there we go the hungry chumper is dead also i believe that we can loot this car but hey it had the alarm and it doesn't really look like a lot of zombies are attacking us so everything is calm here and peaceful oh no there's only one zombie that came out of nowhere this crawler well goodbye crawler i will not miss you okay let's go a little bit higher also during the previous events or something we were able to save some sort of people Oh no, fast biters came out of nowhere. Maybe that's because of because of that alarm, right? Maybe that's where these fast biters came from. But yeah, it is kind of weird. Before, during this highway event, we had to save some survivors when we went for the first time here. Maybe we will still have to save those survivors. In any case, we have gotten here one more suitcase. And I want to see what we can get here. Just random items. For now, I'll just take everything. That's probably easier. And once I run out of things, I'll do something else. Okay, so there is somebody here. What is that? There's a smasher! Whoa, we have to kill the smasher? How much damage does the dude do? Okay, five damage to us. It's not that big of a deal. We should be able to deal with the smasher quite easily. Okay, maybe there's a way to wall trick it somewhere here, but I'm not even gonna bother about it. As it doesn't really do that much damage. I will deal with it. I brought a cleaver and goodbye smasher. Plus, we've leveled up. Okay, I can get a perk here probably. Let's get this careful perk. Now it's gonna be at max. That is great. And we have to find a spark plug and we have to search for cars. I think from this vehicle. Oh no. Oh no, the fast biter came out of nowhere. Okay, so once we deal with a fast biter, I should be able to get a spark plug there. And I don't remember how many spark plugs we need in order to assemble the minivan. I think when the minivan came out, you needed 10 spark plugs. Now we need like maybe two or four or something, whatever. We've just gotten here two spark plugs. We've gotten some other random items. I will get that. And we have to load two more vehicles. Wait, I'm gonna get this engine. And I can actually bring this engine back to the base. That's what we will do. Because I can recycle it. We have a recycler at the base. Okay, I like that. I will do this. But hey, first of all, let's deal with some of the zombies here at the highway. And then we can go back to the base. And it's interesting because this event now is different. Before, we had to save some sort of survivors. Wait, there's a crate here for no reason? I don't have a slightest clue why this crate is here and what it's doing there. But it doesn't matter. We're gonna leave it behind. Okay, it looks like I've set off another alarm. Okay, I'll take probably everything. I don't think I need this light bulb, as I already have a few light bulbs at the base. So I've looted this vehicle, and what if I loot another door? Will it count as another car? Because I've looted three out of four cars. Did it count as a car? Yes, it did. It did count as the car. Cool. So we have to now return to the settlement and we have to probably do something. Finish the minivan repairs. Okay, so we'll try to definitely repair that minivan. And after that, as soon as we are done with it, we'll have to go probably to the sewers as inside of the sewers, we'll be able to get glass and other stuff required to build the garage. But before we do all of that, I want to bring this engine to my bike, except I feel like it'll be a lot smarter to bring the bike here instead of bringing the engine to the bike. I won't make it on the bike here. What? I kind of don't understand why we can't bring a bike there. It's silly. Well, rest in peace, my back. I'm going to start having back pains now. Great. And there we go. Finally, I've reached the chopper. Let's plop this engine here. 
I am going to recycle it as soon as we get back to the base. I think we can just get some scrap metals from it and whatnot. Maybe some aluminum. Doesn't really matter, but hey, we have gotten free loot here. I will bring that stuff back to the base. Everything is valuable here on this account. And if I'm not mistaken, there must be some more crates around here. Unless that's it. Unless I've looted everything. There we go. There's one more crate on this side. Some more suitcases. Let's loot that. Maybe we'll get like a bandage. Maybe some more random garbage. Just a bunch of other random garbage. And now, welcome back to the settlement. And I want to see how many more things we need to add here to finish building the minivan. Let's fill all of that stuff. Oh, wait, we almost have everything. Maybe we do even have everything. We need glass and we need rubber parts. The game did not introduce me to the sewers, but I think I'll have to go to the sewers on my own then. I don't really know if the game has to introduce that to us or not, but hey, I'm going to the sewers. But hey, before we go to the sewers for the first time, we have some other things to do. I want to recycle this thing. First of all, I need to clean up my recycler as I recycled a bunch of empty cans. Now, let's get this rusty engine and let's drop it over here. So this is going to be my first engine that I recycle here. Let's drop it. I mean the first engine that I recycle on this account. And here we can get some aluminum wires. We can also get some aluminum bars. And we have 0% chance of getting these engine parts. But I'm sure if we level up this recycler to the max level, we will be able to get these engine parts. I'm sure we'll have like 5% chance of getting these engine parts or something. So for those who didn't know, you can find the sewer location inside of the port. So let's go there. I'm kind of surprised that the game doesn't really show you that hey, you can get rubber there. But hey, it doesn't matter. You have me for that. I'm going to show you how to get to that sewer location. Something tells me it might not work. Work. We might not be able to go to the sewers today right now because we might need to have an engine before we had to have an engine in order to get to this place But then they gave us a free engine and I'm pretty sure they have removed it right now I am sure that they have removed the engine. We've gotten the motorboat blueprint. That is great. Stay in touch. Okay, that's awesome Whatever they're talking about. That's great. These boxes are empty here. You can send packages so Let me quickly explain to you what this port location is about So by having these resources you can craft these boxes on this box assembler and then with these boxes You can pack these boxes using these kind of resources and then you can send all of that stuff over here So select here whatever box you want to send for example You want to send like these toolboxes send those toolboxes and by sending these toolboxes You will be able to get some points those points will go towards this Jake's reputation and then you'll be Able to get these crane keys and then you can insert a crane key you'll be able to get a crane crate and then you can open up that crane crate if you have an acid bath okay we'll need a generator if we want to pump out the water efficiently i don't have a generator like we need to have a generator here right now and i do not have it ladies and gentlemen before we would get a free generator i think it was around this place but now we don't get a free generator and I have to assemble the minivan and the only way for me to assemble the minivan is to get rubber and glass and I can get that stuff here. So the update that has changed the newcomer's experience made everything a little bit more difficult. I mean, while we are at it, we might as well open up. Oh, I can't even go there yet. We'll unlock later. Okay, so I can't even go to the laboratory yet. Oh, and for those who didn't know, we have just unlocked the boat so we can start building it. And once we build the boat, we will be able to go to the sand quarry. We will be able to unlock this island watchtower. And with that island watchtower, we can go to this dead island. There's also this oil rig, but currently it's not available in the game. All right, so I guess let's start building a generator. Hopefully I have enough resources for it. Let's craft one. I am sure we'll need to assemble it. There we go. Let's place that generator probably here. What else do we need for it? Uh, maybe we don't need a lot of resources. I'm just going to fill it up. Oh, that is it. We No, we did not do it. We still need eight aluminum plates, except I do believe we have enough aluminum plates here. There we go. Let's take that. Let's fill this stuff up. And there we go. We had enough resources, luckily, to build this generator. It's pretty cheap. Before, we had to have like five or ten engine parts. So these generators are eh, very doable. You just need to have aluminum plates and some gasoline for that. Whatever. Let's finalize that. And there we go. We will be able to unlock those sewers, except... If you have never played this game before and you have no idea what you're doing, it's going to be very difficult to get that rubber. As how on earth are you supposed to know that the sewer location gives you rubber? And would you really know that you have to build this engine to unlock the sewer location? Maybe. I'm pretty sure some people could do it. But if they already have 
the survivor's path, why not just add an extra step? Why not just show people how to craft that generator and explain people that, hey, you can bring that generator on your chopper to pump out the water from the sewers. I'm pretty sure they could have added that stuff. If they already have that story mode, why not make it a little bit more clear? Feels like the story mode doesn't really introduce people to the game. It's just, it's just there. It's just like some sort of a task to do. In any case, we're gonna go now to the sewers. And also I think I have to mention that, but the only way to unlock the sewer location is if you have the chopper now, because because if you do not have the chopper, you won't be able to bring the generator here as the only way to bring the generator is using a chopper. But hey, luckily we already have our chopper. We have already assembled it. It is really easy to assemble these choppers before you'd have to play the game for like half a year to assemble it. But now you get it like in a few weeks. So let's drop it here and there we go. It pumped out all the water and we can go now in the sewers. Okay, from what I've heard, there might be motorboat parts somewhere in the sewers. Okay. We're just gonna go now down there. So be careful when you are in the sewers. That's why I brought here more resources. That's why I brought here some glocks. Uh, somebody can crawl out of here. Let's deal with this merman. Okay, so merman can kind of poison us. But hey, that is all right. I'm willing to soak up here a little bit of damage. It is fine. Let's deal with this guy. Now we will have here the swamp bloater. Okay, let's avoid these swamp bloaters. Luckily, they don't do that much damage. Also, we do have a pretty decent armor here. I'm gonna get the shovel that I've just crafted before coming here. Okay, I like these shovels. I stopped crafting crowbars because shovels are a bit more expensive, but I know I like them. Shovels are amazing. How about I use the saw blade mace on the swamp bloater? And how about I get the shovel? And how about I deal with the swamp bloater like that? There we go. We could probably wall trick them by opening up some doors and other stuff, but it is all fine. It's not that big of a deal. Now, let's get this Glock here. And I kind of want to deal with this Merman. I mean, Merman is gonna gonna damage us anyways. But whatever. I did bring a Glock. I would suggest you bringing here some weapons for the sewer location. Wait, how about I sneak attack and open up the door? Okay, let's heal up. You don't always have to open up these doors because you won't always have a chest there. But if you have a chest inside of those chests, you can get rubber parts and other stuff. But for now, maybe I'm not gonna open it up. I'll open it up at the very end if I don't get enough rubber parts and other stuff. Because I don't want to fight those extra zombies. There we go. Let's disable that. And let's start dealing with this swamp bloater. And uh, yeah, it should be pretty easy. Hopefully this armor will last. If it doesn't last, then I'll have to do something about that. I'm pretty sure we have some armor in our end box. Yes, indeed. We have two tactical sets. We have a SWAT set. So it's fine. We will survive. Also, now we can climb up the ladder. So actually, you know what? We could probably even do it right now. So first of all, if you die right now here on this floor where we are right now, you won't really lose your items. You should be able to come back here and get your loot. But if you die once you climb up the ladder, which that's what I'm going to do here right now. Let's go up the ladder. So if I die up there now, I will lose everything. That's why I highly suggest you to bring these glocks. Because obviously you could try to watch this place with maybe your fists, with your spears and whatnot. But... If things go south, you will lose everything here. So make sure to bring here some blocks. Sometimes there will be a lot of zombies. And I do advise you to use your weapons on them. To use your guns. Okay, we have this floater bloater. Usually the sewer location is a bit easier than other locations. As you don't really have to wall trick here. As there are in a lot of places to wall trick. You could probably corner trick them. Wait, I want to see if it's possible to corner trick this dude here. There we go. It is possible to corner trick this guy. But in my opinion, it's just a lot easier to fight it like that. And that's it. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, I'm going to go all the way up here. First of all, I'm going to keep my health at full. Let's get the saw blade mace. I will get the shovel. And let's deal with one more fast rider. I don't really know if I'll get five rubber and five glass just in one go. Plus, we need some other resources like, like four truck wheels. I still don't have those truck wheels. Okay, so we can read these maps by reading those terrain maps. We are progressing with Jake. Jake is the guy that gives those crane keys. Okay, so here we've already gotten two glass. That's great. We still need three more pieces of glass. And hey, getting the truck wheels is going to be pretty difficult. I'm pretty sure we can get those truck wheels like in whatever like zones. So before this update that has changed the beginner's experience, we were able to get some truck wheels inside of our inbox. We were getting four truck wheels as the rewards, but now we don't really get that. And plus the rewards here, they kind of look okay, but I don't know. They feel, they feel weird. I'm pretty sure the rewards from acts were better. They were more useful. Oh no, I didn't mean to stand up. Mistakes were made. Okay, let's get that Glock. That's why I got the Glock because we have these fast fighters, bunch of other zombies. Good luck wall tricking all of them. You could probably do that. 
but am I gonna do it? I don't think so. Oh no, how about I start uh, auto healing? Uh, I've just wasted that auto healing part because I was already on full health. I'm an idiot. Well, it is fine. At least this, these toxic spewers don't spit that hard and they don't spit that often. Okay, how about I... Do I need to open up this door? Okay, there is a chest. There is a chest, so how about I... Oh no, I couldn't sneak attack them again. Let's get a Glock and let's deal with these guys real quick. And then I'll be able to open up one more chest. Here, I should have used that thing. They're gonna deal with all of them, and that's why I brought the Glock. And yeah, here, I should have used that healing perk. And we've got here a terrain map. Let's read that. Let's get the rest of these resources. Plus, we've got a free katana. I'm not gonna say no to that. Okay, here we have something. A table. I mean, okay, perhaps I'll get some food, some beans, another terrain map. We have got a little bit of rubber. We already have four glass. We just need one more glass. Okay, okay. How about I open that up? We've gotten here a toxic spitter. I can deal with this guy with my shovel. So the trick with these toxic spitters is to attack and move, attack and move. So that way, if they decide to spit at you, you will be able to dodge their spits. And I just realized that I haven't looted any of these zombies here. Maybe these zombies will give us something nice. Oh, and there's another thing that I haven't mentioned. I probably mentioned that already, but if you die here, you will lose all of your items here. So be careful. Also, if you leave this place, you won't be able to come back here as the ladder will collapse here on itself and that's it. So be careful. Okay, can't open that. So we have to go the other way and I'm sure we can't go through here as well. I just wanted to show you that it's not possible to go through those doors. There are a few different variants of the sewers, so sometimes you get this location, sometimes it'll be a little bit different. Sometimes you get different rooms. Okay, how about I... Oh no, oh no, all of them have attacked me. How about I get this and I deal with all of these silly floater bro bloaters. Okay, that's why I got the Glocks. That's why I got the Glocks, because good luck dealing with all of those three zombies, especially if you panic and you've never wall tricked here before. So, I advise you to bring some of the guns here. Oh uh, no, this fetid corpse. This silly fetid corpse. Okay, let's pay attention to my health. And there we go, the fetid corpse should die very soon. Just die, schmuck! Oh my goodness, my armor is about to break, but hey, finally we dealt with this fetid corpse. Yikes! However, my armor is red now. Okay, plus I ran out of healing items. I mean, I still have some healing items. I brought more, but I ran out of my carrots. I'll have to start using jerky beef to heal here. Okay. How about I open up this room? Wait, is that it? Oh, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. We can just open up this door. And there we go. We have looted the first sewer room. This is awesome. So here we can get some main rewards like both parts and perhaps more rubber. I got nothing. This is the worst crate that I have ever seen. I'm not gonna lie. We have gotten a little bit of acid, but I'm like almost certain, almost positive that this is the worst crate. Like hands down the worst crate I've ever seen. Whoa, it is just horrible. It is horrible. Straight up atrocious, whatever. Let's get that all from here. So we have looted everything. I have opened up here every single chest. There's nothing else that I can do here. So there's one more zombie that I haven't looted. So let's loot that. Let's get some rope. Now let's skedaddle from this place and check this out. Now everything is just going to collapse on itself and we won't be able to go back up this ladder again. And sometimes you can go up this ladder. Sometimes you can go up another ladder. It just depends. Okay, we got here a few crawlers. Let's get them. This Glock is about to break. That's not cool. Okay, we could loot this room. Perhaps we can find something useful in that other room. But hey, here's another tip and trick for you. Before you go up the second ladder, because there are two ladders, make sure to drop your valuable items here. So I'm going to drop like everything that I've gotten. That way I'll have more space. And here you can store your items. They do not disappear. So you can safely store whatever you want here inside of the storage. And I especially don't want to lose any glass here and any rubber because that's why I came here in the first place. So I'm going to drop these valuable resources and I'm going to go down in the sewers. I definitely use more Glocks in the sewers than I should have. Perhaps I have more Glocks here. Weapons. I have a shotgun and mini Uzi. I have another Glock, so hey, I'm probably gonna get it. Let's get that one more Glock. Later on, I will try to open up these doors. That door here, another door here, and we gotta be careful and run through over here. Okay. There must be a way to remove this ghoul. Let's heal up. Heal up. Heal up, idiot. Heal up. There we go. We did it. So here we can repair this thing. But the only way to repair that is to unlock the boat. As then you'll be able to get that cement. As to make cement, you need sand. And you can get sand from the sand quarry. But hey, to get there, you need a boat. Except once you get the boat, you don't really have to clear the sewers again. So it's kind of weird. Last on Earth is like that. There are lots of things in the game that don't make 
a lot of sense. Like, you will be grinding the sewers and you won't be able to assemble the water pumps in order to get rid of this green goo. But once you can assemble it and once you can disable that green goo, you don't really have to go to this place again anyways. So that stuff doesn't make a lot of sense. In any case, we have here some things to loot and we have here some zombies to deal with. So let's deal with these guys. And hopefully the two logs that I have will be enough. As soon as I find another ladder, I will probably change my armor because there's no way I'll go up there with this armor as it will just break. And I don't want to die up there because as I said, you can die here and you won't lose your stuff. But if you die on top of those ladders, you will lose your body. Okay, we've got in here one more terrain map. This is lovely. Plus we've gotten some more random stuff and the rubber. That's exactly what the doctor ordered. I think we had one. Now we have three pieces of rubber. I can sneak attack and there's something else here. Okay. I will do this. I'm gonna hide behind this wall. And uh, you know what? I'm just gonna deal with them. Oh no, my thing is gonna break. Let's get this. And let's deal with the swamp zombies. There we go. Got them. Now we have some of these carrots. Let's probably use them to heal up fully. Let's loot this thing. We can either get here some more terrain maps. Perhaps we can get something else like glass and more rubber. Wait, we have four rubber and we had like what, four glass there or three glass? We're getting more glass. That's it. We're going to have enough glass probably to assemble our minivan, except I don't have probably a bunch of other resources there. So I'll probably be farming those resources off camera like those truck wheels, and then I'll tell you where I found them. I will be probably looting red zones, as I'm pretty sure you can find those truck wheels inside of the red zones. If I'm not mistaken, maybe you can also get that stuff at Bunker Alpha, maybe in the red crates there. But all that stuff later. Now, let's deal with the sewers, as we're still not done with them. Let's get that. I'm gonna equip here another armor. Then as soon as I open up another crate, I will drop that used armor already. Let's heal up, and let's start dealing with this merman. Let's put the merman to sleep. And there we go, one more hit. And the merman is dead. I think we should be able to load this trash pile. And as soon as I'm done loading this trash pile, I'm gonna activate my healing perk. Because why not? Ooh, we already have five rubber here. This is amazing. This is lovely. Plus, we have some more rubber up there. Okay. And let's start healing up with this special ability perk. And there we go, we've just leveled up. I didn't have to activate it because I leveled up. I again, once again, wasted my healing ability. Whatever, let's get the strict diet because it was at level five. We were able to upgrade it to level six. That is great. And we could go up another ladder. So we are gonna do that. However, we're not gonna go there yet. Plus we could open a bunch of other rooms here. But again, those rooms don't always have chests. So I'm not gonna bother about it. Sometimes you will be able to climb up this ladder. There won't be a pile of rubble here. You will be able to go up. So it is all random. I'm sure there are some zombies that will attack us now. So let's go here. Let's deal with these crawlers. So before I go up that other ladder, I want to be done with the sewers first. I want to be done with this floor and then I'll go up. Let's attack it like this. Let's get back this weapon. And hey, let's deal with the swamp bloater. Luckily, we were able to put the swamp bloater to sleep just like that. And there we go. Now we have another room. But hey, before we go to that other room, let's open up the door. And there will be a berserker. Be very careful. That berserker is pretty strong. That berserker hits like a truck. So be careful. There we go. I'm probably gonna go loop around here. There we go. We've just gotten 20 damage. Let's hide behind the wall here. And we should be able to deal with them. There we go. Let's show the wall trick it. So that's how you have to deal with the berserker here. Okay, wait until the dude stops hitting because both of them look kind of similar, but they're not similar. And there we go. One more hit and one more hit. There we go. We've just dealt with the berserker. Berserker dropped us nothing. And here we have one more interesting crate to loot. And here we have gotten... Okay, so we have gotten some decent stuff. We have gotten a pump and this propeller. I mean, we can clap for that. It's pretty decent. You will require those items to assemble the boat. So it is awesome. Let's get the rest of these items. And as I said, don't go to the second ladder with important items. I'm going to drop everything that I don't need. Luckily, we already have six rubber and a bunch of other things. That's exactly what the doctor ordered. Hey, I'll drop things that I don't need. Boom. That way I'll have more space. So now let's go up this last ladder. Again, make sure that you have everything that you need. Make sure that you have decent armor. Make sure that you have here at least like one Glock or something. Because it is very important. Going here without Glocks is pretty difficult. If you know what you're doing, you can probably get by without those Glocks. But I highly suggest you to bring them. I always bring them. And I will always suggest everyone to bring them here as well. Okay, so all of these doors are locked. I'm just showing you that you cannot go there. And don't click on this thing or everything will disappear. I'm going to hold my Glock here in my hands. And there are a bunch of zombies here. How about I... Yeah, that's why we got the Glocks here. We could probably wall trick some of them. Uh, wait, I'm gonna thin out the crowd here just a bit. And how about I go here and hide behind this wall? Okay. 
it's kind of decent. That's why you have to bring a Glock, because good luck dealing with all that crowd without any Glocks. Obviously, you could try to wall trick, but I mean, it just takes a lot of time and you will use more healing items as by the time you find like a perfect spot to wall trick and other stuff. I don't know. I just keep talking about the wall trick because they're like, there are two camps of players. One group of people wants to do wall trick everywhere. They'll use their fists and spears to wall trick. Otherwise, like they don't enjoy the game. And then there's another group of people that don't want to wall trick. And I'm just trying to give tips and tricks here for both groups of people because you can play this game however you want. And I also believe that wall tricking everything gets kind of annoying very, very fast, especially if you play this game for a while. So there's that. I also want to show you that hey, you don't really have to wall trick everything. We've gotten another terrain map, plus we've gotten a Glock. That's beautiful. But I open up this door. Whoa. Like, good luck wall tricking that dude. You could probably bring a gas mask. Uh, okay, okay. I'm gonna use this. Uh, the auto healing perk. And let's start shooting this schmuck. The fetid corpse. Yikes. Sadly, my Glock broke. I mean, while it's not spitting, we could have used something else. Oh, lord. Oh, lord. There we go, we did it. We did it, we dealt with that fetid corpse and we are still alive. So yeah, we, you could bring a gas mask before you go to the sewers. It could help you out. But again, there are lots of things that you have to bring. There are lots of things that you have to remember. Like you have to bring a gas mask. If you see that fetid corpse, you have to quickly open up the inventory, equip that gas mask. Then you can like kind of wall trick them. There are like so many things that you have to do that will save you a few Glocks, obviously. But first of all, what are you gonna do with these Glocks? Like, why do you wanna save so many of them? Second of all, you can get those Glocks from Bunker Alpha. And third of all, the more things you have to do, the higher the chance that you will die here because you're just making more room for mistakes and if you die here you will lose your items so i mean it's all up to you i'm just here to show you how i clear this place but hey you can clear this place however you want in any case we're gonna open up another door and uh, okay how what if i oh uh, no i couldn't do it i couldn't sneak attack of course i wouldn't be able to sneak attack there in any case we can wall trick some of them. It should be pretty easy. So long story short, I like the wall trick in Last and Earth Survival, but I try to avoid it as much as I can. There are just some places where it's a lot easier to do the wall trick. Like for example here, I didn't have to like do any crazy things. I can just wall trick them and that's it. So in situations like that, I don't mind doing it. But if there are like 10 zombies or something and I have to run around for a while to find a wall. I'd just rather use a Glock and that's it. Okay, I'm just gonna finish off this floater bloater without the wall tricking. It doesn't really matter. We've got him like what, like four or eight extra damage? It is fine. Oh no, there's the spitter. I don't think I'll be able to do anything. I wouldn't have been able to sneak attack the floater bloater as that toxic spewer was looking at me. Okay, let's keep moving. Okay, there we go. I was able to dodge that because I kept moving every time I attacked it or like every second or so. So that's why I was able to dodge it pretty easily. Okay, let's get some bones. We've gotten bones from, from who? From that toxic spewer. You can use these bones to modify some of the weapons. There's nothing there. We cannot open up that door. And there's only one way for us to go to. It's over here. We got a Lurker. All right, so let's just deal with the Lurker. The Lurker does only two damage again. You could probably wall trick it, but it does two damage. I don't think it's worth it. I am going to use my crowbar. So the strategy for the Lurker is very easy. Just attack it until it's dead and that's it. You could probably take off your armor as it's doing only two damage. Without the armor, maybe it would be doing like eight damage. And eh, whatever, I'd, I'd rather keep the armor probably for it. That's it. We have looted this entire place. Let's activate this thing. So far, we have gotten zero rubber and zero glass from this sewer location from this ladder. It was kind of trash. Well, hopefully we'll get something better here. And we got another pump. Okay, and a bunch of other random resources that I don't really need. But luckily, we have gotten enough rubber parts from the other place. That's awesome. Plus, I'm sure we could get some more rubber from these rooms. But again, crates in these rooms are always random. Sometimes you'll get a crate here. Sometimes you'll get a crate there. So you don't really know where you'll get that crate. Okay, here there is a crate. Okay, so I don't always clear these rooms, but while I'm here, I might as well just do it. Okay, let's deal with these stupid swamp zombies real quick. While I still have the gear, I still have some space. I might as well just loot that place and get the loot. We have gotten another terrain map. Let's get the rest of the stuff. Here we have one more room. Okay, I can sneak attack this guy before those other schmucks wake up. And I think there are a few more rooms that I haven't looted. A uh, room over here. I think we have one more room, and this is the last room that I haven't looted yet. So... I don't think there's anything there. That other room never has anything. There's a toilet room, 
I think I can show you that it doesn't have anything. So it's kind of pointless to open it up. It just has zombies and that's it. I'm also going to bring some items back to the base. I don't really need to bring everything as I don't need everything there at the base. But I brought some of the items that I might need in the future. Ooh, and we've got an arrest up event. We definitely have to go there. And hopefully whatever I have here is going to suffice. Oh, dude, this is going to be the best event ever. These uh, deer are going to give us an insane amount of meat. I love it. Hopefully my armor won't break. Otherwise, I will be in deep trouble. So let's just pop these guys like real quick. Let's deal with these survivors. Oh my goodness, my armor might actually break. I gotta get this guy. Oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, my armor! My armor! I don't like that. I did not sign up for that. I'm not gonna risk it. I wasted so many bandages because I thought I have my beans and other stuff. I was healing too much. I did have some armor. Can I hop back inside of this rest up or will they just destroy me because they can attack you during the loading screen? It does happen. Okay, they did not attack me during the loading screen. That's great. There we go. They're coming back after me. Let's deal with one of these guys. And it would have been a lot easier if I had the full durability armor. There we go. We dealt with all of them, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, don't go to the rest up event with your broken armor as... Yeah, as you see, you will lose lots of healing items. In any case, let's start looting these schmucks. And let's get some decent, decent loot. I'm gonna drop some stuff in my chopper. Like this melee weapon and like whatever, this thing. This hammer. And let's start looting the first chopper here. We've gotten a pipe plus the SWAT body armor. I want it. I will get these aluminum wires. I have deleted one duct tape as I don't have enough space to bring everything back to the base. And here we've gotten a Glock and 15 bauxite. I will get that. I'll get the Glock instead of these two transistors because they're kind of easy to get. And 15 bauxite for two alcohol. I kind of don't want that gas mask. Now, we also need to get some fuel. Let's get it. Okay, so let's get some fuel like that. But I can't even take more fuel. Because I don't have empty bottles and they don't have enough fuel. Let's check this out. I can't take the fuel from here because there's not enough fuel for one empty canister. It's silly. <sighs> However, what's not silly is dealing with all of these deer. It'll be amazing. Let's get all that meat. It's one of the best chopper events. So in total, I was able to get here 30 meat. I was also able to get 10 animal rawhides. It's amazing. The chopper event here was great. Welcome back to the settlement. I brought here a bunch of resources. So let's drop all of that stuff here. And our truck is almost finalized. All I need is just some more aluminum plates. I'm already processing those aluminum plates on the workbench. So it's going to be very easy. I still need to get three more truck wheels. But hey, hopefully I'll be able to get that stuff inside of those red stone zones. And now let's see what kind of resources I'll need to build the garage so it doesn't really look like we need a lot of things i mean we need some oak planks but that should be very easy and here we need six asbestos but in order to get that stuff we need to go to the sewers and i haven't even unlocked the asbestos at the sewers yet because i haven't progressed far enough in the survivor's path which is kind of weird and silly in my opinion i have already unlocked the sewers just give me my asbestos i'll farm some truck wheels off camera and then we'll be able to finish building that minivan but we're gonna build it in the next episode so subscribe to not miss that video and i highly suggest you check out my days gone Let's Blur. Click here on the second card. You'll go to my previous last dinner at Survival Let's Blur. Hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that are played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to drop a subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And see you in the next one.